Welcome back. Let's take a look at a quiz problem from the last session. Uh, if you didn't see the last session, I might recommend skipping it, but we can still take a look at uh, the quiz problem. This is a position that happened in one of my three previous games, probably, or one of the games previous to that, but likely one from yesterday. And in this position, there's the move I played, and then there's a better move. Uh, so can I remember what I played? Welcome. What did I play yesterday? Oh, right. Yesterday, I exchanged my bishop for a rook. Clearly better would be trapping the other rook and winning it. Um, no... Uh, actually, if this rook retreats, what's the next move? I don't know. This is just a move. This is not a capture. Uh, Giko recommended in the post-game review that I move this. Oh, if the rook moves back, I take a silver. This I missed. So that's the answer. There we go. Instead, we had the move I played in the game, which was not good. And I could have had a very large advantage of at least a silver and a promoted bishop attacking the king. Which would have been amazing, especially because the opponent's two rooks are contained up here. So, immense, immense whiff on that one. We'll try to do better today. No guarantees. That said, uh, yeah, let's get started. We'll play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Um... It occurs to me I should hit that F9 key. Oh, here we go. Good luck. So the moment at which I should hit that F9 key to do the screen transition is probably also the moment where the color change happens on the display. Um, I don't remember this opening. Is this fine? Okay. Everybody calls this thing wrong diagonal bishop. Um, Muranaka, however, refers to this as the parallel diagonal bishop, which I think is a good name for it. Um, right, so I have to defend this point without sacrificing a lance. So here I am attempting to defend the point, and I persist. So I'm still threatening this pawn. I'm threatening that one. Let me check. Did my overlay... It looks fine. And howdy. For visual interest's sake, let's put a proverb up here. Keep the foothold for the attack. Well, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. See that? That's a foothold. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is also a foothold. Uh... There are lots of feet being held here. Let's say it that way, because that sounds funny. Um, but yeah, the king is walking into the attack, which is a unique strategy. Oh, let's check. Um... Yeah, speaking about attacks and footholds and such, let's take a bishop. They really want this rook to promote, which is why they did such an aggressive move. I, it makes sense, but... Um, Shogi is a game about negotiation. Negotiations about sometimes... Well, it's about exchanging one thing for another. Um, you don't always get everything you want, but you also don't go into negotiation with the plan of just, oh, fuck, I could have, this is defended. I could have run the other way. Um, I mean, it's fine. It's just not what I planned on. Easily could have run this way to begin with. I'm threatening a bishop drop. So the plan with negotiation isn't about just 
making concessions for the sake of making concessions. It's about doing something strategic. Um, you don't negotiate just for the sake of having negotiated. Although, you'll find that many people think negotiation is, well, it's about the optics of the situation as opposed to the merits. Um, uh, okay, so if I drop, wait, if I drop there, or here first. If I drop here, Rick takes, I drop here, Rick takes. I'm trying to do the math here and figure out how to get this rook. I'm not seeing a way to do a fork here or something like that. Nanafun. I have this fork, but... Um, hmm. Oh, they finally do this pawn drop. Not a moment too soon. Hmm. All right. Our opponent is following this proverb. I am not. Or rather, the way in which I'm following just doesn't make sense. So I guess next I'm planning this pawn drop foothold thing. I'm trying to remove every foothold of the opponent's attack. As opposed to keeping my own. And although arguably this is some kind of foothold, but not a good one. But now if they push the pawn up, I can take both pieces for one. And every time I exchange, if I'm removing two attackers for one defender, hopefully I'll make it. Um, it would be nice to have some easier way into the opponent's position, a.k.a. a foothold. Sorry about background noise. I didn't plan this out well enough, but we'll get through it. So I'll just keep talking. I'm trying to come up with interesting things to say while maybe this is being done. So I guess I'm threatening to drop a bishop here, and then the bishop can't escape. Um, let's see. I could drop a bishop there. That doesn't do anything. Oh, I can move the silver up. That looks kind of nice. And they are going to move this silver... Well, they might move the silver up. I don't know what they're going to do. <sighs> so... Yeah, my silver appreciates when I move it up. Like, it increases in value. Um... Hmm. If they move the silver up, they'd have to move the rook over to defend it, or support it. Um, Go hmm. Alright, I think this is a reasonable way to use my piece. On Sunday, we heard that silvers are well placed on the fifth and sometimes sixth line. And here, this is on the fifth line. It's just where we want it. Um, I 
Yeah, I guess next I'm threatening this pawn drop. Silver takes, bishop drop, rook over. Pawn up, knight takes. Uh, it doesn't quite work. Oh, right, so I'm threatening this, so the silver moves up in advance. And then knight drop, silver up, bishop drop. Does not win a silver. Oh, never mind, they're just going to give me free stuff. I can accept that. Um, didn't expect that, but if they're just giving it, how can I say no? Okay, I'll take this. So... Our proverb says keep the foothold for the attack. It doesn't mention uh, thanks for the it doesn't mention your foothold or their foothold. So we removed their attack and won. That's one way to do it. Thanks for the game. Um yeah, it's often easier to just checkmate. Good luck. If you understand um what's going on. If you've planned a checkmate in advance, it's easiest just to deliver that. All right, there we go. Oh, fun. I've been here before. Um, let's not get into the wildest possible tactics just yet. Um... I'm going to defend against this. Yep, they build a reasonable castle, as do I. Uh, okay. I see we both have similar ideas in mind here. Very well. So be it. Let's do this. I don't know whether to play this at the bottom row or upper row. I think this is fine. And I don't need to, like, fully close it. But, yeah, I played a little passively this game. Which means the game's pretty equal here. Um, but, yeah, I could move the silver up next. Or actually push on the bishop's file. Pushing on this file seems like a reasonable use of time. Although the silver, if I moved it up, could threaten this guy. And they'd have to close the diagonal. Mm. Yeah, pushing on this third file often is very effective. No guarantees, though. Um, yeah, the silver doesn't belong here. Let's move it. Maybe it should defend this point, though. So, yeah, I'm split. Do I defend this? How do I defend? How do I attack? Um... Yeah, I do I just hang this outright? I'm not sure. Well, let's move this up. It looks kind of interesting. And the question is, do I defend this? I think obviously I do. Um So we'll play this to protect against that advance. They move up again. Oh, never mind. All right, we're both changing our mind a lot here. Uh, this goes to the most flexible position, except it can't defend this point anymore. But being able to attack that is also quite important. 
Okay, opponent threatens to promote. Um, I think I stop it. Not fully sure. <sighs> but I think I have this covered. Yeah, this is not my most solid defense ever, but I think it's fine. I push um, the head of my bishop. Um, I guess I return the favor. This file tends to be super important against this shape. Although this file and this file are pretty important too. Okay. If I push, they push again. I can push here. If I push here directly, what happens? I push here directly. Pawn takes, silver takes. My rook's not defended, so they could pin my silver. Um, hmm. What a mess. I could pin my silver. Not I could drop a pawn. They could run. I think this is fine. And I take here. And... Oh, that's a silver. That's not a rook. Okay. Um. I still still can drop here, as planned. Let's do it. Interesting. All right, well, there goes nothing. They can attack my rook, and I can run. I could run. That might not even be best. No, running is best. Running is a-okay. Well, is it? I'm not so sure. If I run, they hit me again. Let's just take this. We're keeping the foothold for the attack. So both rooks are hanging. This gold is defended. Um, if their rook moves, my rook can also move. And maybe moves here. But then my lance ends up hanging if we exchange. The... Oh. Okay. Right. I have stuff hanging. Well then. Um. Hmm. That's kind of wild. Um. If I push, they take my gold. I take here, they take my bishop. I take another gold, they take my rook. I take their knight or their silver. This is kind of interesting. Um, 
5分Don't know about this. What a mess. Nifun Sanjibio. Nifun. This is so this horse move is pretty unusual. If they move the rook to the center file, I think I drop a pawn and then move my gold closer. And each time I'm gaining tempi and... Nope. Oh, shnikes. Maybe that was the wrong direction. Maybe it should stay down here. Because <sighs> if they take this, I have a fork. But they can move over there. Uh, then I can take the dragon. And they can take my gold. And it's not fully clear.
Maybe that should have gone here instead. No, I don't think so. I think I did it right. Oh, but yeah, after I do this fork, after they run, I can move up here. Uh, one thing I missed, though, is they can still drop on this file. A glance there. Hmm. Or even back here. Ippun Sanjubio. That was an easy decision there. All right, well, I have to play quickly here. So, and try not to make any mistakes while playing quickly. We'll see how I do. Uh, boom. So bad, why did I do that? Sanjubio. Nijubio. I cannot win this game. I have a winning position, but no time to win it. Jubio Ah thanks for the game. I stand corrected. I did not have a winning position. I thought I did. They played well. Very nice. Two down, one to go. Thanks for the game. Good luck. You know, there are reasons that I only play... Um... Oh, crud. What was I just studying here? What? What? This is not familiar.
Or was this the same thing I just input into Lee Chess the other day? Or Lee Shogi the other day? I don't think this is the same thing. I think there's some notable difference somewhere here. I just haven't figured out where it is. Um, I've had this position before. Uh, I'm looking. So I could drop a silver here. They take my gold, I take a dragon. Uh... I think this is fine. Uh, does Lee Shogi have a good player base yet? It depends. It's constantly growing. Um, but in terms of where it's at this very instant, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I was just going to laugh at this move. Um, it's thought-provoking. Um... Sorry, one second while I try to think about that move, but um, does it have a good player base? During tournaments, the player base can be quite extraordinary. Um, outside of tournaments, I'm not completely sure. But when tournaments are happening, it's a lively place. Um... What is my... Oh, they're threatening this silver drop. That's their idea here. I could bring the horse here. Or I could take the horse. Um... Nanafun. This is so weird. Uh... Hmm. Finding patience can be hard sometimes. Alright, we're going to retreat so I don't lose. And if I don't lose, I should win. That's the plan. Um... So, yeah, and this is worth three generals in defense. Uh, okay. Yeah, they drop a rook to attack. Normally, this would be a strong attacking move. Um, Where is their next attacking move here? I think this is fine. So I defend my silver. I also get to promote. In fact, this does not get to promote right away. And next I can drop a bishop to hit it, but that would be kind of a waste. Oh! Now that my silver is defended, I can drop a gold to trap uh, said dragon. So they're going to try to sacrifice something to get out of the trap. 
Um, I don't need to take that. They're going to move something here, though, if I don't take it. Oh, if I do take it, I could drop the captured piece right here. Oh, but that doesn't trap the rook. Hmm. Details, details. Let's get my king out of there. Oh, well, curiously, my horse will defend the silver if we exchange pieces here. Um, also, curiously, perpetual check is not a draw in shogi. So I need not Go fear perpetual check. I think we both miscalculated that. They had, like, they could have promoted here. They had some gold drops. I think the gold drop was scarier than I imagined. Um, but maybe I'm mistaken. Anyway, in this position, I think I'm better. Um, communication disorder. I see. But yeah, um, Lee Chess, or sorry, Lee Shogi just deployed a couple fixes. One, two, and fix for the game. Um, I'm assuming they resigned that. Okay. So, um, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, on that point, Lee Shogi just deployed the lag compensation fix. So now, if your move takes a second or something to register, that will be reflected and uh, compensated for and not counted against your clock time. Uh, but secondly, they deploy to their homepage. Um, they have a listing of streamers. So if you put leeshogi.org in your live stream title, regardless of whether you do this on Twitch or YouTube, your live stream can be featured on uh, Lee Shogi's front page. I think that'll contribute uh, to the growth of the website. So yeah, I'm looking forward in the future to see more collaborations with that site as I'm hoping they'll, their maintainer might find some time later this year to review things I've done. Uh, but yeah, hope we've enjoyed these games together. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.